I'm often asked why it is that people say Macs can't get viruses. This isn't an easy question to answer, and there's more than one reason. I'll try to touch on some of them. Reason number one is the architecture. The operating system is inherently more secure than Windows in that generally files are not allowed to be modified or added to the main system folders. Where in Windows it's very common for installed applications to add DLL files to the Windows folder as well as modify important files such as the system registry. Microsoft can't change this because it would break compatibility with 20 years worth of existing software applications, which is why they aren't willing to do it because that compatibility is what keeps them in business. Reason number two, market share. Let's face it, most of the market runs Windows. Most of the people who write malware today do it for financial gain. So it's easier to write malware for Windows to begin with, why not concentrate your efforts on that segment? Reason number three, Adobe Java and Internet Explorer. Windows is actually more secure these days than it used to be. Most drive-by downloads use security holes in either Adobe Flash, Adobe Reader, Java, or Internet Explorer in order to get their foot in the door, so to speak. If you use a Mac, however, there is no Internet Explorer. Java is provided by Apple as part of the operating system and doesn't work the same as on Windows. And most users don't install Adobe Reader because Apple's own preview application is part of the operating system and already handles viewing of PDF files. That leaves only Adobe Flash, essentially knocking out three of the four big open holes into a user's system. Reason number four, the user base. There is a perception that since Macs are more expensive and that geeks love them so much, that the user base on average is somewhat more intelligent than the average Windows user. Although I think this may not be as true as it used to be, the perception still remains. And again, since the whole point of malware is typically to make money, the weak link is often the user themselves. For example, if nobody ever bought anything from spam, spammers would stop sending the stuff out to millions of people. Well, a similar situation exists for malware. If people don't fall for the schemes behind malware, there's no point of writing the stuff. So, let's just say that the fish in the Microsoft Ocean bite a little bit more eagerly than the fish in the Mac or the Linux Oceans. So, are there viruses or malware in existence for the Mac? Actually, yes. There are reports of some malware included in some BitTorrent sites where people download illegal copies of software for the Mac. But this comes from the installation of said software rather than just browsing through the internet, which is the main way that Windows machines are affected. So at this point, there are no known viruses or malware floating around on the internet that can infect you just by visiting some website or clicking on something. But David, you say, they make antivirus software for Macs. If there aren't any viruses, why did they make it? Well, those companies are in business to make money, and it is worth mentioning that only viruses they scan for are Windows viruses, which is fairly pointless being that those can't hurt or infect your Mac anyway. But the day may come with viruses starting to pop up for the Mac, in which case these companies will become more relevant. After all, none of the reasons I stated here suggest that the Mac is 100% impervious to infection.